I have been painting or uh, polyurethane and staining that table, which is a fancy picnic table, seats 10, 14 people. Yeah. We got the table pretty much done. I have to fill the cracks in some more. I don't like cracks. So I'm filling the cracks in with polyurethane glue. I'm, I tried strapping them together, but again, I'm dealing on this table with, with green lumber. And this is green lumber too, that's cheap pine. This is expensive stuff here. And this is gonna be the benches. Basically, I'm gonna build a leg that goes like this, like this, and then like this out of square tubing, three inch square tubing. And uh, uh, so I'll have two benches. So what I'm doing is Thomas and I slaved and dragged this these pieces of board wood out and those ones there too and we cut these by hand Thomas cut most of me does really good work and um, with the chainsaw and um, we're always harvesting wood for our our firewood supply but a lot of times we take out lumber or wood and turn it into lumber using the chainsaw to cut it into into slats or boards or whatever and this is an example of it <clears throat> and so um, we like the the quality of the lumber to be able to the board the wood to be able to, to use it for something other than uh, firewood sometimes we cut them like this and we use them for fence posts like i have some other videos like that uh so i'm kind of under the clock right now uh today is like november 30th and i'm feeding four uh seven ten i don't know watch your butt there uh a bunch of you're, now you're in the glue <laughs> i'm feeding a bunch of people on a so i have to get these benches done and I really don't have a lot of um, uh, work. Well, I got a lot of work, but I really don't have a lot I'm going to do to these. I'm going to clean them up. I'm not really going to take the bark off. I'm just going to kind of round over the edges so nobody splinters the rear end sitting down. And I'm going to hit it with polyurethane. Um, let me get a little bucket of water or something. And I'll show you what this wood looks like. Hold on, I'll be right back. From my point of view, it's not going to work. So here's what this wood looks like. What it will look like. Just really nice wood. This is a hard wood. It's called Piyin or Roble or Koi Wei. And it's this really hard. This is Koi Wei. Okay. That, that big bench over there that's really thick, the chainsaw or uh, the sawmill couldn't cut that one. That was the yin. So that's the color we'll look after we're done polyurethaning it uh, to give you an idea. Take a look at this. It's really beautiful wood. And this log right here is just like this one. I've been working on this for about what, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, right, Thomas, with the grinder. Imagine palm sanding that down. Um, I don't have a power planer, wish I did. Maybe one day when I grow up, I'll have one. Uh, but I've got to do the same thing to, the, to this log here. Uh, I'll have to get it going. There we go, that's nice and low. So I'll grind that one up too. And then uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna sand it any more than just the edges round over the edges take the bark back off the edges a little bit and i'm just gonna hit it with polyurethane and then i'm gonna do a rabbit a, uh um a, a route route a, a a rabbit through the bottom of it almost the same thickness as this leg basically is this sawhorse and that's going to be countersunk in then i'm going to bolt it down either with machine bolts or lag bolts I've seen another guy lag bolt them in the end like that, and I didn't quite like that. Uh, I didn't think it was, I thought there was too much of this. So anyhow, that's the update. Um, and I'll try to show you the finished product. I do like how the, the table rolls and it gets where I'm going. It's a little tall, but it's gonna work. When I get it wherever I'm gonna get it, I just take the wheels off and it'll be the exact right height for your dining pleasure. So, all right, back to work. Well, here I am on Sunday trying to get my table together, my picnic table, and here's some of the legs that I welded up and the other one there. 
Uh, here are the other two. I have to put squares on the bottom of, of these legs so they don't sink into the dirt. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger so they don't they don't sink in. And uh, this is how the leg oh, it's heavy. It's going to go on there. Yep. So that's uh, the two half rounds that I'm using, which are extremely heavy. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult to move those, but I don't plan on moving them a whole lot. And when they're when they're gone, I'm going to turn them into firewood. I have to put another coat of uh, a little more sanding, get my fillers out, and a little coat of uh, polyurethane on the top of this table. Clean it up some more. Let's get all my junk on it right now. And today, uh, on the other side of the car, you can't see it, but way over there at my water tower, my sheep destroyed my sink, which is my work table for when I slaughter animals. Um, so I've got to go out there and fix that because uh, I'm planning on slaughtering a sheep for this barbecue I have to do for the catering. And because of that, I need that table because that's where I, my slaughter station is. Anyhow, beautiful day here, overcast, but uh, still very nice, comfortable. Chicken's doing well. Uh, yep. Yeah. So a little bit of work ahead of me to say the least. Not, not a whole lot for Sunday. I don't think I'm going to weld those pads on today. Been working the welder pretty hard. Uh, I'll probably wait till tomorrow to do that, but everything else I will. Well, here is basically our final day of building what we've been building. These are our two half log benches here with the welded legs. You notice that one's got a little bumpy cubey thing underneath it. That's because it didn't lay flat. It didn't lay flat because well, the log twists a little bit because this is green green lumber. I expected that. That's the other one. This one I stained. This one I just polyurethane. Probably could do another coat on it here looking at it. Yeah, it's still sticky there even. Whew. So got that done. Right? And then so there's the bench. Gotta dry a little bit more. And there's the pick a nick a nick a table. And there's the um, barbecue pit that I made for the skewer on top, the rotisserie. So we're going to set up eat up land over there for our guests. And here's Thomas going crazy. He's going crazy cleaning up the barn in case we have to eat in here. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Right, Thomas? Yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow we got to kill a. Tomorrow we got to kill a butcher a, a lamb, a sheep, a male sheep, cordero they call him here, and uh, get him ready to go and set up everything out there to be able to put together. We'll have our. We're going to work on putting this together today and some other things. So, just doing the final cleanup work here and getting ready for our guests, aren't we? Uh huh. Yep, it's been a lot of work, but hey, Thomas and I, he's really gotten much better on his welding and I've gotten much worse. So, but at least we're imp improving some. Yep. And I am catering today for a bike tour group with Cy Cycle Chili Anthem Sports. And we are making smoked salmon, which I don't have out here yet. A lamb dipping sauce and a balsamic reduction for the salad. There's the mint, fresh mint for the lamb. And there's the lamb. There's Thomas working on it. Lamb has only been on about an hour. We're really early in the morning right now. Probably only about 10. Uh, I guess that's not early, but in the morning. And uh, Thomas, my main land tur turner there. And the two beasties. And there's the picnic table. Yeah. With the two benches that we got together. And uh, it's a little tall, but it's tall like I like it. I like to sit tall and I like to eat tall. So uh, that worked out good. Anyhow, got things going. I'll try to get some shots for you guys as the day goes on. So 
So here's Lars. That's Lars. Say hey, Lars. Hey, Lars. There you go. And Lars is pulling the pin bones out of these little tiny salmon that we that we got. So these are that's one one salmon, both sides of the two fillets, about a kilo, maybe a kilo and a half a piece. Pull the pin bones out because they won't taste good. And we're gonna smoke them with some apple wood and cherry wood down there when we're done. And then we're gonna glaze them with teriyaki sauce. That one ready to go on there? Yep. Yeah. Looks good enough almost to eat now, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Good work, Lars. Thanks. So there's my cooking crew. Hard at work. Look at them sweating. Uh, got my lamb dipping sauce done. Smoked them salmon. Put the teriyaki sauce on it. Uh, there's my salad dressing. This is a balsamic reduction ginger in it. There's the lamb. Right there. Keep spinning, Lars. Yeah. Looking nice. So there's our finished lamb. We're cooking. Food's out, spread's out. Guests are here. <laughs>